talk here real quick about editing efficiently with Wondershare. What I do is I usually, uh, first I'll go in, I'll make my, uh, titles. So I'll go, I'll pull up this. I'll change that to whatever it's going to be. So it's going to be GTA 5. I'm going to change that, get all this formatted, that way, uh, whenever I do, uh, get all the videos and stuff like that, I got like a platform and stuff like that to work with. I don't have to, uh, keep recreating this over and over and over again. And all I have to do is, like, change, like, maybe this subtitle. It's going to be GTA 5, uh, what's one of the videos I got? Off-Road Crash? And then for my end title, put end credits, pick like a very basic one. I'll do the same exact thing with that. So I'll click on it, change the text style to two. Put all my info in. Save that, and then I'll actually move these up. That way, when I import stuff, it won't interfere with that. Got a lot of processes right now, so this is probably lagging a little bit. But just bear with me. I'll show you just what I'm doing. It'll take two seconds, and then I can just drop these videos in, and I'll probably save one. I'll save the project actually. Uh, I'll save the project with all three videos in it. And that way, all I have to do is just move the video and then move these two or three uh, titles and stuff like that. Maybe even add a transition at the end. Something like that. You know, just throw a fade in there. You know, so it fades into the, the outro portion of the video. You can also import any of the music you're going to be using. And detach audio. They got shift keys. Or not shift keys, but hot keys you can use to just audio and stuff like that. But this is actually from my stream. So I don't want to have the background noise in there. I'm just going to throw music on it. So the last thing I'll do is I will bring in some music. I'm going to use this one. And then from there, I'll move this back a little bit. Add that in. Now for all three of these videos, I'm going to have, I'm going to have four phases of the editing done already. So when I go to drop these other videos in there, it'll be over with, you know, I won't have to do that. And that'll save you, you know, a minute each video editing and stuff like that. Uh, furthermore, if you want to do something like you can detach the audio and on these, I have to actually adjust the audio to 3.5 decibels so I'll do that before I save it about 3.5 one more and yeah, 379 is good as long as it's not too low then I'll actually delete that and then I'll have roughly all the time that I'll have for my music and all I have to do is just segment that as I edit each one so from there I'll just go to save project as and I go to GTA 5 uh, videos. You can date it, whatever. Am I good? And, uh, once it saves and stuff like that, the only thing you don't want to do, every time you add a new video in, you don't want to hit save. You just want to save project as, and then the new video. 
That way, one, you always have backup, and two, you don't overwrite whatever you're working on with something that's totally unrelated underneath the title or have to do all this work again. So that's, that's pretty much a 101 efficient editing with Wondershare whenever you're making videos for whatever it is. If it's not the same subject and it's multiple videos, you want to have something like that laid out already and save the project as that. So you just open up the project, you know, say I'm done with this video, I can just go, you know, open project, GTA 5 videos, and all this is going to load up again. And even if I delete, say I'm done with this and I delete the video, I upload it to YouTube or wherever you upload to. I'll still have the other two videos there as long as I don't delete the main files. It'll still work. The file won't get corrupted just because I deleted this. This will disappear, but everything else will stay. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.